let's talk about a guy who made a, a list that I think should have been a little higher. And that's sexy Dexy Dexter Lawrence himself, who's named the third best defensive tackle in the NFL. And I just think that's a little low. I really do. I mean, no, I'll give you number one, number two first on this. So number one is Chris Jones of the Chiefs. He's the guy who's on most number ones. I do think, and I will argue to the till the day I die, not that anybody probably is still going to be having this conversation when that day comes, but <laughs> that Dexter Lawrence and Chris Jones play two different positions because Chris Jones moves all along that defensive line. He's trying to find weaknesses, like a raptor looking at the fence, you know, like he's yeah, trying to find that girl. where he can get through. Whereas Dexter Lawrence is a strictly nose tackle. That's what he is. He's right in the middle. He doesn't move off the middle. They don't put him on the edge to rush like that, like like they do with Jones. You know, that's what he does. He plays the real tackle position. Uh, number two is Quinn and Williams at the Jets. Which, honestly, if I was judging these three, I would probably put still put Jones first because I just think he is that good. Uh, again, doesn't I think he plays a different position than 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 Dexter Lawrence? I'm not changing that part here, but I just think he's got a little more outcome out of him than than Dexter Lawrence has gotten. And I put Dexter Lawrence twice, and I put Quinton Williams third. I think I need to see Quinton Williams be dominant one more year. And maybe that's a little bit of, of homerism because I, I watch Dexter Lawrence on such a regular basis. But what he does from that nose tackle position is just unheard of. You know, a lot of the guys that are the greats of the defensive tackles, like, you know, the Aaron Donalds of the world and all, they did the same thing Chris Jones was doing. They're moving him towards the outside, making him run like edge rushers at that point. Dexter Lawrence is truly coming up the middle, and he's doing it on a regular basis, you know? Um, so he was sixth last year, so at least he's gone up. He's gone up to three now this year. Uh, this is what the article said about him. He said, that's two elite tackles in the greater North Jersey area, with Lawrence racking up 12 sacks, 49 QB hits over the last two seasons while dominating the run game. Lawrence, who earned a four-year, $87.5 million extension last offseason, ranks second amongst defensive tackles with an 18.6 pass win pass rush win rate. I don't know why I always have trouble saying that when I see this. <laughs> but read it wrong. Um, yeah, I mean... So you got a guy who, great against the run, they're saying that point blank, was, you know, second in pass rush win rate. And he doesn't move on the outside to get the advantage. He's going right up the freaking gut. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's, there's a difference in what he does than most people that are going to call a defensive tackle. You know, there's more defensive linemen. You know, they call them defensive tackle, but they're more defensive linemen overall. Dexter Lawrence is a true nose tackle. I'll give you Chris Jones. I'm not going to give you Quinn Williams. Um, now, the people who voted on this, by the way, I should mention, it's they ESPN went around to executives, coaches, and scouts and just asked them to rank their top 10 defensive tackles. That's where they got it. One guy actually had Dexter Lawrence at number eight. Number huh. eight. Like, that's a little crazy. Like, you tell me seven defensive tackles better than Dexter Lawrence. That's that's hard to do. As I said, it's hmm. like I don't I don't understand how you could possibly get you know that kind of you know answer out of that. Like who would you even go with at that point there? I don't know. Like I really don't. I mean Aaron Donald is gone. You got Chris Jones, you got Quinn Williams. I mean, Hargrave, is he considered that good? Simmons? You know, Christian Wilkins? You know, we know he's not as good. Hayward, he's not as good. I mean, I just don't know where yeah. you're going with that. I mean, Jonathan Allen, we see him twice a year with the Commanders. He doesn't make nearly, I think, the same effect that Dexter Wars does in those games. You know, I just... I don't know. I think there's 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 some giant hate there going on. Um, Always is. They had they had a quote here. They got a couple quotes here from some anonymous 
guys who did uh, go ahead and give their thoughts on him. One anonymous coordinator said, elite feet to go with size and athleticism. It's like he's violently dancing out there. He'll be, he will miss a few plays here and there near sacks, but he mostly delivers. That's the one thing you can say on him, I feel like. And I don't want to say he mostly delivers, but there's a few plays that he just doesn't get the sack. But I feel like that's him flushing the quarterback out. He's, yeah. Again, he's going pressure. up the middle. That's the difference. He's going up the middle. They would be sacks if he was coming off the edge, you know? I, I just feel like it's a little it's a little crazy. I really do. Um but you know, what do I know? What do I know? Um a scout also from the AFC said he's just an awesome football player. A unique combo of power, balance, and lower body flexibility. And you combine that with his football acumen and you have a premier player. Now that scout I agree with. Yeah. That scout I agree with. I don't know what's going Looks on. Looks like here. he knows how to do his job. That's a little crazy. That is a little crazy. Um, not many people I agree with in the show always. But <laughs> that guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. It was me. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, My name's know. Anonymous. <laughs> it's Anon for short. <laughs> If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes, too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. Please, please subscribe. <laughs>